Hello friends, this video on DNF block elements part 31 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So what are F block elements? F block elements are called inner transition elements and in these uh, block all the elements, the last electron enters F orbital. Can you see? The last electron enters F orbital. That is the definition. And they are all part of group 3 actually, group 3 member, it is all extended from group 3, if you see, 57 it starts from here, 58, 89 it starts from here, 90. So these are actually my F block elements, lanthanides and actinides, okay. So 14 elements in lanthanides and 14 in actinides, total 28 elements, F block, 2 series, lanthanide series and actinide series, Lanthani lanthanides actually is not a uh, lanthanide but it is it resembles the property of lanthanide so actually we study uh, lanthanus also in this same thing actinum also is not part of this actinide series but it uh, resembles the property of actinides we'll, we'll also study actinum with actinides okay all these lanthanides they resemble one another and these have only one stable oxidation state we'll see that all these lanthanides have only one stable oxidation state. Actinides, you will see that they have wide range of oxidation state. This is something you will see, wide range of oxidation state. So please remember, lanthanides, you will see that it has only one oxidation state and actinide will have wide range of oxidation state. So before going further, let's at least see these uh, element and say hello to them. So we'll start with the first a lanthanides element called cerium. Cerium atomic number 58 you can see here and this is also silvery soft ductile metal easily oxidized to air. This is named after the planet Ceres and this is generally found in the minerals monzite, basterite and this is added to fuel actually to reduce the emission. This is added to fuel and it reduces the emission. So we talk about the electronic configuration of uh, cerium, cerium 58, we'll see that it is 4F1, 5D1, 6S2. This is the electronic configuration of cerium, okay. And if you uh, talk about, let's suppose, cerium 2 plus, in that case, electrons will come from this place, right. And if you talk about cerium 3 plus, electrons will come from this place. We drop or cerium 4 plus electron will also come from this place. Okay. The next element is parsiodinium. So in this uh, case, this is also soft, silvery, malleable, ductile. This is magnetic and this has electrical and chemical. It has, also has optical properties. This is also found in compound form and this develops uh, oxide layer. We have seen most of the D block also develops oxide layer. This also develops oxide coating due to oxidation. And this is named for the it color is named for the color of its oxide. This came from the Greek word called prasinos. And this prasinos means green. Right? And the other word is didumos. This came from prasiodymium, prasio plus didiomos and didiomos means twin because its oxides were green color. So it, was, it is called prasiodymium. Okay, it has one stable and a lot of radioactive isotopes. Talk about electronic configuration this 4F3, 6S2. That is the electronic configuration of this element. Okay, and then we have neodymium. Neodymium, again, this word again came from the Greek word. Neo means new. You must know that new. And didiomos means twin. Didiomos means twin. This is again a silvery metal which tarnish in air. This forms oxide. Oxide. But in this case, this oxide layer actually is peeled off. So here no, no protective coating like iron, 
it doesn't form a protective coatings since the layer which form it peels off like iron so it is further exposed for oxidation okay it is present in the ores like monzite it is not found naturally it are it is used in uh, glass dyes and to make powerful magnets it is actually a rare rare metal okay there are five stable isotopes and pretty uh, good number of radioactive isotopes we talk about the electronic configuration it is 4f46s2 this is the electronic configuration of this the next is promethium promethium all radioactive isotopes only it doesn't have any non radioactive isotope all radioactive isotope it has and it was discovered in 1945 by analysis of fission product of uranium fuel and this is name after this word prometheus this is a greek word prometheus right this is a greek titan in greek mythology who stole the fire from the mount olympus and bring it down to the human so this actually shows the human intellect because this is a human who created this so it shows at that time it showed the power of human intellect and this prometheus also was uh, very intellectual he brought fire from the greek uh, from the mount olympus down to human and so it was named after him and it's called prometheum to talk about the electronic configuration is 45 4f56s2 this is the electronic configuration of prometheum the next is samarium samarium sorry the samarium is silvery hard it readily oxidizes it was discovered pretty late 1879 and this was named after the samaskite um ore actually which was uh, from which it was isolated so this is the fourth for 40th most abundant metal in the earth this is not rare this is not rare and this is used to create powerful magnets and this is helpful in curing cancer okay talk about electronic configuration 4f6 6s2 this is the electronic configuration of samarium the next element is europium this also this is the first element which is name of the country europe europium this is again hard ductile silvery metal it also readily oxidizes in air and this is used in lasers and uh, fluorescent lamp okay let's talk about electronic configuration 4f7 6s2 this is the electronic configuration of europium gandolium if this is again silvery white malleable ductile detected in 1880 and this was named after gadolinite what is this this is a ore from which it is formed we have uh, six stable isotopes and one radioactive isotopes also it is used as for shielding it is used for shielding in nuclear reactor nuclear reactor we have this is used for shielding the nuclear reactor shielding nuclear reactor okay it is also used to prepare alloys which are resistant to high temperature talk about electronic configuration 4f7 3d1 6s2 this is the electronic configuration the next element terbium this is also silvery white rare earth metal this is malleable ductile and hard and this is also used in fluorescent lamps tv uh, tubes sonar system etc this was discovered in 1843 this was named after a village jatharbi you must have seen heard this word a lot of elements were found here here and this is in sweden this is named after the village jatharbi right talk about the electronic configuration 4f9 6s2 this is the electronic configuration of jatharbi so next to terbium we have dysprosium this dysprosium also if you see the silver white soft metal discovered in, in 1886 named after the greek word dis prio tos that means hard to get this element was hard to get actually it was it took time to prepare this and uh, it is used in making control rods in nuclear reactors it has high magnetic strength and but it tarnishes slowly because it gets oxidized in air right 4f10 6s2 this is the electronic configuration of this 
element. Next element is holmium. So we talk about holmium. This is again soft, malleable, again silvery white metal discovered in 1878. You see all these metals were discovered in the same time. And this is named after the city Stockholm. Solmium Stockholm. This has the highest magnetic strength of any element. It is used in nuclear reactor. A good way to remember Stockholm attract a lot of people. Similarly, this holmium is very attractive. It has very high magnetic strength. 4F116S2 is the uh, electronic configuration for this metal. The next is Erbium. Erbium is again silvery white metal, solid metal discovered in 1843. And this was also discovered in this Yatalbi village in Sweden. This is used in photographic filter and also controlled rods in the nuclear reactors. 4F12, 6S2 is the electronic configuration for this element. The next is thulium. Thulium is again, if you see, it's again silvery white soft metal. It reacts with water and air also. It was discovered at the same time, 1879. This was named after a place called Thule in Scandinavia. Right? This is used as X-ray source. This is used as X-ray source. 4F136S2 is the electronic configuration for this element. The next is YB. Yterbium. This is soft white metal, malleable and ductile. This is the last second element of this lanthanide series, named after again the same village, Yterbi. Yterbi village in Sweden, where it was formed. And this is a source of gamma rays. Right? And uh, this is used for making atomic clock. Most stable atomic clock in the world is made using yterbium. Electronic configuration is 4F14, 6S2 is the electronic configuration for this element. Next is lutetium. Lutetium is again silvery white. It resistant to corrosion and dry, but in the moist, it actually reacts. And it was uh, found in 1907. And the word came from the Latin word lutetia. Lutetia is the Latin word for Paris. And this is used as catalyst in the petroleum cracking. Catalyst in petroleum cracking. You'll see that not much application for the lanthanides and actinides actually. And uh, 4F14, 5D1, 6S2. This is the electronic configuration from lutetium. So if you see the electronic configuration, the F orbitals has element ranging from 1 to 14. F orbitals are filled, right? The number of electrons are from 1 to 14. And S is typically filled. 6S2 is common for all. So for this lanthanoids, 4F1 to 14, 6S2, I can see the electronic configuration for this. D also has a element, but D generally has 0 to 1 at the max. Okay, so let's talk about the trend in the atomic size for lanthanides and we, see, we know that if you go from left to right, the atomic size increase because uh, we are adding electron to 4f orbitals as you go from left to right and 4f orbital has a poor shielding effect and thus if you see the atomic size is decreasing as we are going from left to right, the atomic size is decreasing. This is my atomic size and this value is decreasing. Correct? And this is called lanthanide contraction and we know the consequence of lanthanide contraction. We already have studied this. Now we'll talk about oxidation states. So in lanthanides, plus 3 is the most prominent oxidation state. Plus 2 and plus 4 is also seen. Plus 2 and plus 4. But plus 3 is the most common oxidation state. We'll talk about the general characteristics. It is, we have seen that. We have actually seen all, most of this, all these lanthanide elements. We have seen that they are all silvery white soft metals and they tarnish rapidly in air, right? And their hardness increase with increasing atomic number. So in this direction, the hardness increase. Okay. The melting point is also high. Melting point is uh, between 1000 to 1200 Kelvin. There is a melting point. 
दे ऑल गुड कंडक्टर गुड कंडक्टर एंड दिस प्लस थ्री आय आर कलर्ट एक्चुअली सम ऑफ द प्लस थ्री आय आर कलर्ट एंड दिस इज बिकॉज ऑफ एफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड मोस्ट ऑफ देम आर पैरामैग्नेटिक okay so paramagnetism is make maximum for neodymium and the first ionization energy is around 600 kJ and second ionization energy is around 1200 kJ but the third ionization energy is low and the chemical property of this uh, lanthanide is similar to calcium initially and then it becomes similar to iron i think so it is aluminum so earlier lanthanum reacts like calcium but if we increase the atomic number these behaves like aluminum okay and these actinides are highly radioactive sorry i was a little confused here the lanthanides actually we have stable isotopes of lanthanides also but in actinide we'll see that all these are radioactive right in lanthanides we have element which are non radioactive also in fact i just explained to you that promethium is the only uh lanthanide which has only radioactive isotopes other has stable isotopes also promethium is the only odd man out which doesn't have any stable isotope but other has stable isotopes also okay the next is the chemical property if you talk about the chemical property lanthanum when you react with nitrogen it form ln n when it reacts with carbon it form ln c2 or ln 3c or ln 2c3 this kind of component forms lanthanum also reacts with the water to form ln oh three kind of Uh, compound lanthanum also reacts with halide to form lnx three kind of compound lanthanum also reacts with acid to form what sorry hydrogen gas lanthanum also reacts with oxygen to form the oxide uh, something oxide coating or just oxide talk about the uses not much use but yeah it is used in production of steel it is used uh, to create mesh metals very hard metal mesh metal and this has 95% lanthanide actually and 5% iron and this is used to produce bullets okay this is lanthanum is also used for catalyst cracking we have discussed this catalyst in petroleum cracking and this lanthanum is also used for television screen the old television uh, crt screen in that case lanthanum is used for phosphor it is also used for nuclear rod lanthanum is also used for nuclear rod thank you visit examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online tests get pre study materials find tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again